Hey everybody, this is Ken at PinballRebel.com and today we're going to do something a little different that's jukebox related, not pinball related. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be dinging a record. So let's open this thing up here and see what we got. Here we go. record dinker you may ask well this is a record dinker or even a little put, 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 put a little little piece of tape over the cutter so in the United States 45s and here's a 45 traditionally come with the big cutout holes in Europe, they come with the small holes. This one I ordered from Amazon. And the reason I'm going to uh, dink this record first is because, as you can see, it came chipped. So this one's already ruined. So if I mess this one up as a test run, it won't matter. So the reason I want to dink this record or cut this middle hole out is so that this record will work in my jukebox because right as it is right now, this record won't work in the jukebox. So basically what we do with this cutter is we use this cutter to cut out the bigger hole. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this side a little bit, and then we're gonna cut the other side, and then we're gonna pop out the center section. See how this works. Okay, let's see how we do here. Kind of hurts your teeth. That part's not hard to tell. So we'll just kind of score it a little bit here a couple times. with the dinker. Or the cutter if you prefer, whatever you want to call it. Ugh. Okay. And look at that. We have, now we have a American 45 we can put in the jukebox or a dinked record as it were. Might take a little piece of sandpaper or a file and clean up the edges, but not bad. Of course, this one's not any good because like I said, the, it came from Amazon damage with the corner knocked out of it, a corner, a, a notch kicked out of it, but proof of concept.